Hey fellow gliders, welcome back. I'm Robert Petito, and in this video, we're gonna show you how you can scan a QR code in order to autofill a form in Glide. Glide does not have this functionality natively. We're gonna have to construct it, but imagine your users finding a QR code, they scan it, it brings them right to a form screen where that form screen is autofilled with the values from that QR code. So then all they have to do is tweak and adjust and hit submit and get redirected to where you want them to be. In order to build out this functionality, we're gonna have to use a couple of columns we don't typically use. For example, the get parts of URL column. We're gonna to have to use some user specific columns and we're gonna show you how you can use a form container in order to make all of this functionality happen very smoothly. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So what you see in front of you is Glide's boilerplate app that it gets generated when you start a new Glide app from scratch. It has a list of contacts, and a list of companies, and these contacts belong to the companies. In the data table, we can see that, where we have contacts with their name, image, and email, along with which company they belong to, and then we have a table for companies, which is information about the company itself. So within our context, we're gonna assume that, let's say, every company employee has their own QR code that represents who they are. And inside of that QR code, contains a name, contains their email, contains which company they work for. And we're gonna provide this QR code for them to onboard into the app. And so the, all you have to do is scan the QR code and it will create a new row inside of the Glide app for us so that way we don't have to create them ourselves. In other use cases, maybe you have uh, QR codes for inventory. So that way when they scan inventory, the uh, values for all those inventory come up and you can then do something with it. Or maybe you're creating some sort of scavenger hunt type app where the QR code is going to show you the next location and the points awarded and so forth. There's lots you can do with QR codes, as you know. Um, QR codes are nothing more than just a glorified link with lots of parameters inside that link. And what we're gonna do in our case is extract those parameters in order to autofill them inside of a form. So in order to create this functionality, we kind of have to think backwards, right? Ultimately what we want is a way for a new contact row to appear inside of our app. That means we need a form that will allow them to submit a new row into the context form, okay? Easy, Glide gives us forms and allows us to submit new rows. That's not a big deal. The big deal is that we need to pull values from a QR code in order to populate that form. Now a QR code is nothing more than just a link and we can fill up that link with URL parameters. And so what we need is the Glide app to look at the URL, extract the parameters and use those parameters as default values for the form so that way they can submit it. So that means we need an area where we're capturing the URL and extracting those values. We can do that in a variety of places, but for our case, we're gonna go ahead and create a brand new screen and a brand new table to make this happen. So starting in our data, we're gonna create a new table here, and we're gonna go ahead and call this uh, QR scan. So when they scan the QR code, we wanna take them to the form in our app. That means we need to have a screen in our app ready to go. So to do this, we're gonna to go to our layout and we're gonna create a new screen and we're gonna create a custom screen here. And the custom screen is gonna to point to that QR scan table. Okay, we're gonna get rid of this collection that automatically gets populated when we create new screens. Next, we need to know the URL of this screen. Now, the only way to grab the URL is to publish our app. So we're gonna go ahead and click on publish and it gives us a default URL here, that's fine. I'm gonna hit publish. All right, so now we see that we have a link to this screen. To keep things easy, I'm gonna go ahead and make this app completely public so that we don't have to worry about signing in or anything. So I'm gonna make it public and no sign in for now, but you're probably gonna to wanna to have a required sign in on your side most likely. Okay, so now if I were to visit this page, I should get taken directly to this screen. All right, so there's my QR code scan. Okay, so now if we want them to fill out a form, 
we can just put a form container on this screen. So I'm going to go ahead and enter in a form container, just like this. And we're going to point this container to where we want to add. So in this form container, we want to add a new contact, let's say. So this form container has all of the entry components we need in order to add in a new contact. We have a text entry for the name, image picker for their photo, email, and so forth. And you see with the majority of these, we actually get a chance to have a default value. So we can set something in here. So what we want is the QR code to pre-populate this default value. And you can see that if I click on the triple dots for any of these default values, we get the screen context here. And in this case, the screen context is that table of that QR code scan that we created. So as long as we populate this table full of values, we can use them in the default value of our form container. So that means what we need to do is append this URL with the values that we're looking for. And they can be anything we want them to be. To add URL parameters, all we have to do is take our base URL here, add a question mark to start us off, and then start creating parameters. So for example, we want a name. So I can say name equals, and then whatever the name happens to be. So in this case, let's say Bob, right? If we want additional parameters, for example, the email, I can say and email equals an email address. If we want the company name, we can say and company equals, and then company A. Now you see I'm putting spaces in here and ampersands. Uh, really this URL should be URL escaped, um, but most browsers know how to do this automatically. Okay, so if I were to select all of this and copy and hit return, you see I get taken to the same field. Okay, and up in my URL, I see all those parameters are still there. Right? And you see that it found that space and escaped it with a percent 20. All right, so Glide now knows the context of that URL, which means that inside of our data table, if we were to look at that URL, we can, we can do it through a template column. And I'm gonna call this scanned URL. The type is going to be a template column. I'm gonna enter in any value here, I usually just do numbers, like number one. And I'm gonna replace that value with the URL of the current screen. And so it knows my screen is that QR scanned screen, and it knows the URL is the one I just entered with all of those parameters in it. So if I hit save, so here's that scanned URL. And so if I were to display this URL, I'm just gonna go ahead and put in a text component in here and point it to that scanned URL. Okay, we see that this matches what's up here, which means in our published version, again, if I were to visit that one with the parameters, we should see that all the, it recognizes the full URL and the parameters. All right, so that means that because it knows our context, it knows the URL that we've entered, and it has these parameters already in here. And these parameters are actually saved inside of our scanned URL column here. We can start extracting those values and use them as default values. Now you're not gonna be able to see it here, unfortunately, because I'm inside the builder and the builder only shows me the root values of things but um, you can rest assured that it's indeed pulling any parameters that I might send along the way here. All right, so we, our parameters were name, email, and company. So in order to extract those values from whatever URL we scan here, we need to use the get part of URL column. So I'm gonna just start listing these out. Uh, the first one here is going to be the name. So type, I'm gonna just type in URL. And we see we have a column called get part of URL. And the URL here is going to be the scanned URL. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to grab one of these values. And in this case, we're going to grab a parameter name. And the name that we want to grab is the parameter name. Okay. I'm going to duplicate this. And I'm going to call it email and just switch the parameter name to email. And then lastly, I'm going to grab company and change this to company. Okay. And again, these are blank right now because in the builder, my URL is doesn't have those parameters. But just so you see it, I'm going to go ahead and add in a fields component. And I'm going to display those three parameters we just entered. Okay. All right. So if I go back to the published version and give this a refresh, we should see that the name, the email, and the company is inside of that fields component. There we go. So you see name, you see the email, and we see the company. And even though the company name was escaped with this URL parameter, Glide is able to redecode that and give us a string value instead. Okay, so these values are in fact living in our data table right now for this particular user, which means we can use these values as default values in our form container. So let's go back to our app. All right, so our name component, we're going to set the default value to the name. The email, we're going to set to email. And our company value is going to be the company. And we can make all these required if we want. So they have to fill things out. And maybe we're going to force them to put in an image, too. That's the one thing we're not actually adding in the field here. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the fields component since you already saw that. All right, back in our published app, if I give this a refresh, we should see that these values are now pre-populated in this form. Moment of truth. There we go, look at that. So if we send users to this URL, then we'll be able to add them as contacts directly using this form screen. Now, uh, some other little tips and tricks here. First is that maybe you don't want this QR scan screen being visible all the time. What's nice in Glide is that you can visit the root tab here go to options and you can actually hide it from the nav bar. And just because you're hiding it from the nav bar doesn't mean that it's not accessible. So if I were to hide it from the nav bar, we see it's not here, which means normally no one would ever be able to get to that tab. However, because we actually have the URL to this tab, I still have access to it. Right? And it still pre-populates my form. Okay, So now all we have to do is take this URL and create a QR code out of it and distribute that QR code however we'd like. Now let's look at a practical example of using this with a QR code. So instead of creating a contact, maybe instead we have a list of contacts and we want to add them to our app inside of our users table. So in this case, we just need their name, their email, uh, admin access, and when they were added on. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch our form component here to now point to the users table instead. Okay, name will still have the default value of name. Email will still have the default value of email. But now we don't need that company information anymore necessarily here. But we still want to fill out the admin access. So I'm going to get rid of that. And we're going to set that as a default value of the admin access to be admin. And we're going to add in a default value of added on to be the current date and time. And we are going to fill out their role here. So really only fill out a couple of things from that QR code. Now let's say we want to create that QR code right from within our Glide app. We can do that. So inside of our contacts table, we have the context of their name and email already, and we can create a QR code, but first we need to create the link. And so the link, again, we wanna send them to is that QR scan link. So I already have that copied to my clipboard. 
And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use a construct URL column to craft that deep link to that form container. So I'm going to call this QR code link. This will be a construct URL column. And I'm going to paste everything inside of the host for now. OK, we don't need the HTTPS. This right now is our host. Our path is this DL, which stands for deep link, and then the D0A54, which is our uh, screen that we're on. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that and paste it here in the path. Get rid of the question mark and the forward slash. And all of these are parameters. So I can add these parameters down here. We had name and email. Those are the only two that we really needed. So I'm going to say name and email. And now I can craft the name and the email directly from the contacts data. So name will be pointed to name, email pointed to email. I hit save. And now look at this QR code link. We have the full QR code link to that deep link, to that form container, along with the name and the email already escaped with the percent 20, in this case, percent 40, right? And this is user specific. And so now if we want to craft a QR code, Glide gives us that functionality. I can add QR code. And I just point the QR code to my QR code link. Let's give it a size of 300. All right, let's go ahead and make it 500. And then save. And now I have a QR code that I can distribute to users. So Alina Smith has this link, and this link is this QR code. So if I were to give out this QR code, then someone could add Alina Smith as a user to my app. So just we see how that works. I'm going to go ahead and copy this code. Let's pretend I scanned the code, and it brings me to our form container, it pre-populates their information. Alina can add her photo. And now all we need is just a submit action here. So when we submit a form container, we stay in the same screen, but we really don't want that. Really, we might want to go back to the list of contacts or something like that, right? So on our form container, on this after submit action, I'm gonna go ahead and just create a new action. We're going to say complete form and redirect. So yeah, we're going to show a new notification. We can do some other sort of action like notify an admin or something. And then ultimately what we want to do is go to a new tab and we can head back to our dashboard or our home screen or our contacts table or whatever. Okay, so let's go ahead and again, give this a refresh. And so when all is said and done, when I hit submit, it should take me back to the contacts table. And Alina Smith should now be added as a user to our app. I hit submit. We're back on contacts. And if I were to go back to my Glide app here, I should see in my users table, there's Alina Smith with all of the information that I had submitted as part of that pre-populated form using nothing other than a QR code. So hopefully now you can see the power of crafting a deep link in Glide data table using a construct URL column, converting that to a QR code, pointing it to a screen where we're then we're extracting the current link and then extracting the parameters, getting the get parts of URL column. All fun things, fun columns that we don't typically use on an everyday basis, but you can see the power of it now, and hopefully you can implement this in your app. If you have any questions about how to recreate anything that you saw here, feel free to leave me a comment below. You can also reach out to me at Twitter at rpetito. And as always, thanks for watching.